What is going on? Strawberry coffee coming to you from Clovis, California. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make strawberry coffee. All right, so people ask me all the time if I make strawberry coffee. Yes, I do. And yes, I actually make a few different versions. And today, I wanna teach you one of them. And guys, this one is so simple. Here's how it works. You take this and we pour it into this and we use it to pour into this. Seriously, this is how simple it is. 24 hours ago, I stuck some strawberries in a French press, I stuck them in the fridge. I'm gonna pour that into my tea kettle and I'm gonna use that for a pour over. It's so good, right? I could see you watching at home right now like, why well, didn't I ever think of this? I think I'm gonna tell my mother, I'm gonna tell my brother. Yo, Dave, have you seen this strawberry coffee guy on YouTube? Well then create an account and subscribe to him. All right, often when I tell people about this, they have a follow-up question. Can we use other fruit besides strawberries? And the answer is absolutely. I just use strawberries because, well, if you can't put that together. You can use oranges, you can try pomegranate, or kumquats, or papaya, or dragon fruit, or jackfruit, or horned melon, or Buddha's hand. The key here is that the flavor of the fruit has to complement the flavor of the bean you're using. So what it really comes down to is simply experimentation. Just give it a try. All right, so yesterday, 24 hours ago, I cut up four strawberries, stuck them in the French press, filled it up with water, stuck it in the fridge, let it sit there, and I'm gonna pour it into the kettle. And then you have a nice little snack right here too. Okay, that already has an aroma of strawberries. So this is gonna be fantastic. All right, put the lid on, heat this thing up to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. The brew weights that I use for the Chemex recipe are 21.5 grams of coffee to 325 grams of water. All right, so I'm working on the Barazza Vario grinder. I love this grinder. The setting on this is 4M, which is a pretty medium grind. You know, before I grind this, yeah, I've been thinking about how there's a lot of coffee accounts on YouTube. You could scroll for hours just looking at coffee videos, and while they tend to be pretty informative and helpful, what I really care about here is this connection, you know? Me and you. I'm feeling a little vulnerable right now, and uh, I think I wanna, I wanna share something with you to up our level of intimacy here. This is something I've only shared with my wife. You know, about eight years ago, I was on Belize on an island. And, and then... And that's really why I am the way I am. All right, so we got a medium grind. Then I take this little green tea whisk, break up any clumps. Next, we're gonna rinse the filter to make sure we get the paper taste out of this thing. Oh, and I'm rinsing it with this strawberry water. I can smell it already. It smells beautiful. It's even got a pink hue to it. Look at that. So you empty that water out, then the grinds go in. I'm gonna pour in 70 grams of water, give it a stir to make sure there's some good saturation of all the grounds. And then at 35 seconds, I'm gonna pour it at 200 grams of water. And at a minute and 45 seconds, I'm gonna pour it at 325 grams of water. Let's brew it. It smells like strawberry coffee. It smells like strawberry coffee. Now after both pours, I like to give it a little swirl to make sure the grounds settle to the bottom so it looks like this. It's light, it's gentle, it just gets the water moving around in there so that the grounds can settle towards the bottom of the filter. At three minutes, one of the things I like to do is take both sides of the filter and lift it up and then drop it back down. It just helps drain the water well. It helps prevent any clogs. So I would give it that a try if you use a Chemex. Oh, I forgot to mention today for this brew, I'm using some beans from Ethiopia, Guji region. We'll see how it works out. Dragon glassware. Love these glasses. And then usually my Chemex recipe tends to finish around 4.30 to 5.30. It goes a little bit longer sometimes with the strawberry water. All right, so this finished off at about the six minute mark. Let's give it a try. All right, so the flavor notes from these beans on the bag were Earl Grey, peach, and lemon. So we're gonna see how this balances out. Okay, so I thought because these beans had a lighter flavor profile, this was gonna be a little bit more aggressive and forefront. It's not. The strawberries kind of have a, um, it's almost like it's a fourth flavor note. It's just gentle, it's subtle. Yeah, for these beans, this, this worked well. All right, that's what I got for you today. If you're interested in any of the gear in this video, check out the description below. If you enjoyed this, check out my other videos, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Grace and peace, friends. Thank <laughs> you.